Hello YouTube, Psycho Bob here again with a video on my latest 3D printed project, the Team Fortress 2 Sentry Gun. This video demonstrates how to assemble the piece as you'll be able to order your own copy from my shop on shapeways.com. In my shop, you'll be able to find a model that contains all the pieces to make a level 1 Sentry Gun and also two optional upgrades that allow you to upgrade the piece to a level 2 or 3 Sentry Gun. This video shows the assembly of all three levels from pieces straight out of the box from Shapeways and I'll finish up the video with some shots of my final painted piece. As with any SLS print, once you've confirmed you have all the pieces, I recommend you give the pieces a good clean. Shapeways cleans the pieces before sending them to you, but there can still be trap powder on or within the part. This can cause some problems when painting or even when you glue the pieces together. The spokes at the back connect the main gun piece to the mounting plate and are designed to have a tight fit, so you may need to give it a helping hand to seat them within the eyelets properly, like I'm doing here. Now all that's left is to place the assemble piece within the leg section and you're done. The piece is designed so you can pan the gun head left or right rather than having it being fixed in one position looking forward only. The level 2 sentry gun requires all the parts from level 1 aside from the front barrel piece which can be put to one side. Here I've already divided up the bullet chain parts into two piles of 16, which gives you a total of 32 pieces. All pieces are identical and they are relatively easy to snap together like you can see on screen. As they are made from plastic they will flex a little to allow you to connect them to one another and it should move freely once assembled. Once you have assembled the chain of 16, you should have something like you can see in the video, a chain that moves quite freely. This forms one of the bullet chains, so you will need to do the same with the remaining 16 pieces to form the second one. These are then attached to the Gatlin guns. The canister is reattached to the piece and then bullet chains are then connected to the underside of it where there's some eyelets. You can remove some of the links if you feel the chain is too long, but you will need the chain of 16 to switch from a level 2 sentry gun to a level 3. The last part is to attach the cabling from the canister to the Gatling guns. Here I thread on the cable blocks and then thread the wire into the relevant holes on the model. Due to the nature of 3D printing, small holes generally don't come out perfect, so I recommend you clean up the hole shapes with a drill bit. Depending on the wire thickness you are using, you can either use a 1mm drill bit or in my case here, a 1.5mm drill bit. The holes you should clean up are the two cable blocks, the two on the canister cover and finally the two on the Gatling guns themselves. Finally, we move on to the third and the last level upgrade. For this, you will need all the parts from level 1 and also from level 2. From the level 2 gun, it's relatively easy to do. Remove the main gun section from the base to make it a bit easier to handle, and then using the two small tabs, push the canister clips inwards so they are free from the eyelets. Then move the canister back 90 degrees and push the clips back into their eyelets to hold it in place. As long as you have 16 links on the bullet chains and you haven't twisted them the wrong way round when connecting them from the Gatling guns to the canister, it should move easily into this pose and look like what you can see on screen. There should be 5 parts in the level 3 pack and the assembly is very straightforward. Simply push the rockets into the pod and you're done. Back on the gun, you connect the rocket pod to the gun using the canister cover. 
There are two larger slits that look like air vents and you should use these to connect the rocket pod to the main gun. Well, I hope that video helps you assemble the sentry gun from my Shapeways shop. The pieces in the video footage came straight out of the box from Shapeways with no cleaning, aside from cleaning up those holes I mentioned for the wire to fit through. On screen now is my version of the sentry, once it was painted and as you can see after a look of paint it looks much much better. If anyone orders this model I would love to see pictures of your version, and of course you don't even have to follow the same colour scheme as that in a game. You can make a whole new one, you can paint it team blue or with an army camo pattern or a flag, anything you want. When you do paint the model however, take into account that the paint will add thickness to the model, and thick enough paint can hinder or even prevent parts fitting together properly. If this happens, you can either remove the paint and try painting in thinner coats, or you can use a hobby knife to widen the connection holes. Just be careful not to injure yourself, or cut through more than you want in the model. If you do accidentally cut through more than you want, you can always try and fix it by using super glue and a bit of sandpaper to smooth it down once it's dry. If you do get a moment, please head over to my website where I have a post on this project, and as always, thanks for taking the time to watch one of my videos.